Hey everyone, Steel from Studio Blue here with another supplement to the Parallax Mapping Tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make really nice reflective water real easily. Again, this is going off of previous tutorials, uh, building off of things that I've learned from Fallen Lorelei and other wonderful mappers. So uh, just follow along. We're going to make this as quick and easy as possible. So first thing you want to do is you want to look at where you're going to go and you want to create a new layer. We're going to call this layer water overlay. Okay, and when I say you want to look where you want to go, you want to kind of pre-plan a little bit. So kind of follow your water and make sure that, uh, you know, you want to kind of see, okay, so this one's constantly going to the left, constantly going to the left goes behind some trees that's okay we got a couple of waterfalls so we kind of have an idea of how the water is going to go in this particular map okay and then what you want to do is you want to hide all of your overlay parts hide your dirt hide your shadows hide the modeledness that's making your grass the way it looks so you want to have it kind of at the base map that you created uh, the one where you know your your tiles are showing and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select about that much now let's go a bit more because we're going to be overcompensating select about that much copy and go to your water overlay area and paste and then you want to kind of line up your overlay and you're going to be repeating this multiple times again this is why pre-planning is so important I see one area where it's going to be a little sticky right now but we're going to go ahead and zoom in and we are going to bring the opacity down so that we can easily operate on this we're going to kind of carve it out there we go and we want to bring it to about I'd say about 55, 50% opacity. Yeah, that's fine. And then we want to select our eraser tool. We want to make sure the green part is erased. And this way it kind of looks like it's vanishing down into the water. And get rid of your hard edges as much as possible. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we have this depth effect. It looks like this is actually uh, part of the water going down into the water and the water line is hiding it. Now, you don't have to worry about the fact that the animated water tiles are going to go over it because we are going to uh, make this part of the overlay layer so it's going to go over the actual uh, tiles themselves. So now go ahead and copy this come down here and start pasting and what I want to do and what I, what I like to do is I like to paste it to here here's a 2 by 2 so I want to paste it there first Oops. Okay. Probably paste it up there. Again, this is why pre planning is so important. Yeah. The marquee is still there. So it's going to paste up there. So we remove the marquee and then paste, and there we are. So it doesn't look perfect, but then you bring it down to. Yeah, 
50% opacity. And suddenly it looks wonderful again. In fact, you can also control J to duplicate the layer and that'll probably work a heck of a lot faster. Doesn't have to be perfect, just perfect enough. Okay, this is going to be its own little problem, so we'll come and work with that in a second. Right now I'm just placing places where it's two. Okay, that's it. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it where it's one. Because that is significantly easier to deal with. I'm going to paste, put that there. I'm going to change the opacity to 50. Then I'm going to take the lasso tool and delete. And this is what I'm going to use for the single rocks. Control J. Control J. J. Whoops. Ha. Went to steam for a second. And just keep clicking control J till you reach the edge of your water. Having the snap tool, as you can see, makes this a lot easier. Make sure you save. <clears throat> okay, so now we want to deal with the big one. And I'm going to go ahead and merge these together so that water overlay is all one layer. And then I'm going to take a step out and this area right here is going to be a bit of a problem so I need to find a place on my map where I have a lot and here's one where I have a lot right here um, if I didn't have this I would actually construct by copy and pasting these right here I would kind of build one out over here until it was long enough but fortunately fortunately I already have something kind of pre-made. And I'm eyeballing it as to whether or not, oops, I'm eyeballing it as to whether or not is the appropriate amount. Uh, it should be, if it's not, I'll just go ahead and do it over again. Nope, we're good. Right on the level. Zoom in go change the opacity when I'm operating on a level I like to lower the opacity really heavily Oops. and just follow along doesn't have to be perfect just perfect enough Change the opacity to one. That's fantastic. There we go. All right. So let's see. Do we need to nudge this around at all? There we go. That looks good. Okay. 
sure the opacity is at 50 percent there we go Oop, don't want to delete the edges that much delete the edges there we go now that right there is going to be a bit of a problem so let's see if we can't fix that without having to patch it up because I hate having to patch up work always always runs the risk of it looking artificial and again I'm just being a perfectionist right now there we go no we're gonna have to patch it up it's just not gonna look good otherwise so go ahead and delete that go to the water layer select some work we've already done place it put it in place and then just delete the overhang there you go there <coughs> the player's eye will never know the difference when it's out at 100% see players on the map even if they're zoomed in a little bit because it's full screen they'll never know the difference and that is it so now we have this if we want to we can start adding more detail in uh, let's go ahead and add some rocks in just to make it look uh, even better we're gonna go ahead and re-add everything Oops. except the original add in all the trees and let's go ahead and select a rock from area 5 so we'll unlock area 5 and this should be a rock from area 5 yes it is I'm going to move it out into the middle of the water here bring it up here to water overlay we lock area 5 so we don't accidentally move it and we're gonna start with having a rock right here and then we're gonna zoom in and don't worry that it looks kinda of funky right here this water will not have this modeled look to it when we actually bring things back into RPG Maker because we're gonna use a transparent set of water tiles that is transparent as in the rock area is transparent uh, something that we've already prepared um, in Photoshop and what that will do is that will create uh, water that looks natural waterfalls that look natural uh, speaking of waterfalls if you want to know why I didn't create a bottom to the waterfalls uh, I'm actually using a particle system and that particle system is going to create foam uh, it's Mog Hunter's system and that foam will hot would hide the bottom anyway so you're not actually going to see the bottom of the waterfalls okay so we have our rock right here in the middle of the stream we're gonna go ahead and change the opacity oh, so we're gonna rename that rock water like it matters we're gonna be overlaying it anyway uh, merging it so we want to make that about mm, 65 to 70 percent let's put it at 70 75 that's good that's good now it's a little less again being a perfectionist again there we go 65 is fine and then we want to bring in the eraser tool and we just kind of want to carve out the bottom here so it looks like it's kind of vanishing down into the water carve off a little there there we go so it looks like it's basically mostly if not completely under the water and we'll just go ahead and make some copies and paste them here Let's lock the base layer so I don't accidentally move it. There we 
go. I'm going to have this rock be at the base here. So it'll barely be visible thanks to the, um, thanks to the particle system. And I'm going to add more than just rocks in a bit. I'll probably spend about another hour working just on the water. Now, you know how you can see the overlay here of the rocks over these trees? That's okay because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my overlay area, which is the overlay that the player walks behind. I'm going to include anything that would go uh, over the rock bed, over it. So the overlay layer will be over the water overlay layer so that the trees will go over the rock. It'll all look good. I'll, I'll do another tutorial based off of that so y'all can see how it works. Do another quick video. Let's put a rock right here. I like rocks right before waterfalls. Go. Let's have one here. Right there. And then one right there. There we go. <coughs> okay, so we don't want to just have rocks because that's boring. We want to have things like lily pads and flowers as well. So let's come back up here to the beginning. Let's go to our sprite bin where we have all our mini sprites. And uh, let's see. Do I want to use one of Pandamaru's? Could. But this one. There we go. Let's use this one. make sure that it is MV size it should be yep we're in V size all right so we can hide our grid yeah we'll show our grid for now okay so let's go ahead and select this guy right here We'll place him over here and the rock over here. And all we're going to do for this guy is bring his opacity down to about 50, 55%. Again, it doesn't really matter if I name it because I'm going to be uh, hiding it anyway getting rid of it, merging it down so its name is going to vanish. I don't want to just have it be lily pad rock, lily pad rock, lily pad rock. That's boring. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this rock here. Go, there's a lily pad there, and I'm gonna have one more lily pad. Right there. There we go. <coughs> then I am going to let me make sure I zoom in and get it all. I'm gonna get the one with the flowers. Because that one's real pretty. I'm going to add that in once or twice, and then I'm going to add in another thing once or twice. I'm going to zoom out here. Got a pretty good idea what I'm doing. And I'm not liking the lily pads being at 50%, so let's bring them down to about 40, 25, 30. 32 there, that'll work. Okay, so now we're going to paste. We're going to put this guy 
right here. Lily flowers. Put that at, let's make that 25. There we go. And never ever directly center, that looks horrible. So just kind of stagger it off to the side a little bit. I might be out of room. Right there. Kind of getting to the end of this. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We'll do some grass. Let's do some grass. I'm gonna do something special with this grass. Let's see, first I want to figure out where I put the grass. Yeah, these trees do a lot of blocking. Now let's put the grass here instead of those. So let's just go ahead and zoom in, select, delete, and we're going to do a quick image adjustments, a few saturation colorize, and we're going to make that green, which it already is. That's fantastic. There we go. 25%. Nope, a little higher. Fifty-two percent. There we go. Okay, so that should be it. Now we're gonna kind of take a look at it at a hundred percent. Let's see. I think instead of that lily pad I want to have my grass. The grass looks better. We're going to get rid of that rock, too. So I'm going to bring in more grass, and I'm going to cluster the grass together right here. There we go. And I'm going to lower the opacity because they're all clumped together. So they won't be quite as opaque. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we have rocks. We have grass. We have grass in the same area. That looks terrible. So we're going to move... Ooh. Selected a whole bunch of things. I'm going to move that grass over here. Move that lily pad over there. There we go. There we go. Kind of break it up some. It's fine. Now I'm going to make this lily pad just a little smaller. Always try to have it so that everything is just a little different and you're not doing the same thing over and over again. There we go. And one too many rocks, maybe. Let's go ahead and get rid of that rock. Move that lily pad up. Put it, uh, put it there. Put that rock right there. Again, the regular overlay layer will get rid of it. Okay, so I like the way it looks now. We've got rocks, we've got grass, we've got lily pads, we've got one set of lily pads with flowers. Let me make that lily pad with flowers a little smaller. Yeah, there we go. Always subtract if it doesn't look like it fits. There we go. <clears throat>
Yeah, there we go. Much better, much more organic. If I had some reads, I'd put reads in. In fact, I'll go look for reads after this video is over just to see if there are any that I can readily get my hands on. But the water looks a lot more realistic. It looks more, there's depth to it. There's stuff in the water. Uh, we're going to, again, we're going to use transparency water tiles to paint back over here. Same thing with the waterfalls, and then I'm going to add in the foaming effect using Marg Hunter's particle system, and we're going to have very realistic water. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or contact us over Facebook or Twitter. If you like what you saw, leave a smack down on that like button. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We try to put out content every couple of days. Uh, every Sunday, Teal and I do a Let's Play First Impressions of an RPG Maker game. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. <laughs> and it hasn't stopped recording. Isn't that cute? There we go. Have fun, everybody.